Hey guys, welcome to Madhusri's channel. So this is the coding project. Today what we're gonna do? Today, Fruit Ninja game. It is very very beautiful. It looks so cute. So today I am gonna write for that one code. Okay. So uh, I will give a small introduction to that and how to play. Let's start. Come. There will be a knife. To cut fruit, but don't cut the bombs. Bombs means monster. Okay, that's how easy to play fruit ninja game. To hit the fruit slicing game, enjoyed by many players, right? And all over the world. Last but not least. Slice as many fruit as can you in classic mode. Just don't drop the fruit and don't click on the monsters. So guys, now I understood that uh, you have been understand that how to play this game. So let's start to write the code now. But before writing the code, we will see that game that how look it is. Okay, come. So let's play. So this is the knife and this is the fruit. I'm just cutting this. Oh monster. I will not touch the monsters. And this code is increasing for me. Wow, it's very beautiful. I will never ever touch the monster. Because then I will be die. Then the game will be over. So I will be only Cutting the fruit. Wow, then the score is also increasing. Oh my god, the game over game. I just touched the monster. It's really bad. I want to play once again. But this is not the time to play. Let's teach to you that how to create like this best game. Let's come, we will see the code. So guys, already I have wrote the code. I will just explain you and I will show you that why it is using and how it is using. Okay, so let's start. Come. So variable play is equals to 1, is equals to uh, like a variable play is equals to 1, variable n is equals to 0, right? Variable game state is equals to a play. So guys, I think you know about this game state. Okay, I will ask you a small and like, very very easy question. What is game state? Why we use game state? I think you don't know. Okay, I'll just say. Um, I'll just give an hint. Okay, in game state there are three states. What order will be there? For example, now you are uh, playing one game called car racing game for example car racing game for the first option will be play so play is the first option in second what will be serve serve option to serve that thing to play okay next the third thing is and suppose uh, someone has uh, hits you then the game will be end right the game over so that is called three states. What are called? Play, serve, and end. What? Say repeat. Play, server, and end. So play, server, and end are the main things for the game state. So the game state is called play, server, and end. Okay. So uh, we have got only two. Just play and end. No need to serve. So already it is serving right. So no need to serve. I just wrote play and end. That's it. Okay. So next one we are going to study about variable. You guys know about variable right? So that is very very good to know that you are knowing about variable. I just one second I'll say to you guys. So variable is nothing but variable name. See. Uh, for variable b, what is meaning of b? You will be asking. No, we can give any name like 
I'll be giving us also race or any name which you can give very easily or difficult. It's your wish. You can give very easily. Okay, so that is called the variable name. Okay, so variable name is equal to create sprite. So we are creating the sprite. Right, so 200, 200, 400, 400. You'll be asking this, what is this type? 200, 200, 400, 400? Is it equal, equal? No, that is wrong thing. This is x. This is x. Y width height. But don't lie, uh, write like this all, okay? It will be coming like why it's coming like this, okay? So this erase this all, okay? So guys, I erase all. So next, a B dot set animation back. So what is back? We'll go and see animation. I know back is background. We can even create the animation in the animation tab and even. Uh, click on new animation if you want to upload an image you can also upload if you see in background I think I have to care on this see so it will be coming like code but even I can give it that back but I can't give the same thing as back we have to give like back one or back two back three like this we can give anything see it is coming like this right so wait but uh, it will not take then the it will come like uh, different it will be coming so back one or any name you can give it's your wish okay so this is called a variable name for the animation state uh, animation state and everything okay so this is animation tab and this is code to code okay next one variable k1 is equal to create sprite 100 to 70 10 10 we are creating a sprite for knife and for uh, in x y width height then we are giving a animation for knife one okay next do you know what is k1 dot scale is equal to 0.4 everyone will know this and i know this because i teach you very very easily right please guess this what is this what is meaning of scale? Why we are using this? Same Exactly, it's correct, guys. That is size. We should not write like K1 dot size. We should not write like K1 dot uh, size. It is very wrong, wrong, wrong letter. Okay, guys. So, uh, we can write, but no need to write in uh, this time okay they will teach you like how to what is meaning of scale what is meaning of size like okay so we will write as a scale itself but size will also work but we have to write the scale in the code method so understand so we have gave 0 0.4 for the knife size see for example i will be giving like 3.3 let's see now how much big knife but the uh, fruits are very small no 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 we need all this correct measure okay let's give it as 0 0.4 itself okay next one Variable score is equal to zero. Text size for text font text style. So we will be asking what is score? Why we are using score? What is text size? What is text font? What is text style? There is nothing but we are calling a score to write the score, right? And for the score size, we are giving as thirty. And text font, I'm giving a snap ITC. Why I give snap ITC? Because it looks so very beautiful. I love this. Even you can give this name as algebra, some, some uh, more things are there. You need to find this means go to paint tab or any uh, paint tab. 
you can go and search in the paint tab so in that there will be so many fonts or even you can go and search even in the, the google also let's search come so we will search as uh like text font text font names style names okay so click on style names look there are so many things and go to images there will be so many things see they are so cute and very beautiful i love this more and more to write like this okay so this is very very good and very nice okay text font style names or anything you can write to you i'll just type like to you now to thick and thin so guys so this is very easy thing to write so this is very very good i love this i lo really love this so how uh, if suppose you are not getting the image even we can also search in the paint or any tab i'll show you guys i will be showing you in next video okay so let's start the code now i'll uh, surely show you the text font how to write the text font what is the text font name let's see in next video come formally okay let's start now okay variable fruit group is equals to create group variable monster group is equals to create group you'll be asking what is this fruit group and monster group why we are creating this group I will say this for the best answer in just one line. Okay, very short answer. So variable food group is equal to create group. Now we are creating sprite, right? Because is it is that each one one we are just creating one. We are just creating only one. We are just creating only one background like that. But in uh, if you see means in monster or fruit group there will be coming so many fruits so many monsters right see it is coming only randomly right so for that we are gonna create very easy method so we need a group so in the group we can just create a random in just few five lines. Two lines or five lines or six lines or seven lines or any line. Next variable game over is equal to create sprite 200, 200, 400, 400. Game over dot set animation game over. Game over dot visible is equal to false. So guys, uh, one minute. You guys look carefully at the last number. I'm gonna touch the monster. Please be careful and see. Okay. When I'm touching the monster, the background will change as to game over. See now, one, two, three. Over. So game over background is like this. So I have game false. Why? Because in the plague state, it should not come right. Only in the end state, when you're touching the monster, at that time only it should come right. So for that, I wrote it okay so next one function draw we are gonna insert in function draw what is function draw we have to draw all the sprites in that only so background color i'm giving as yellow why because the background will be in yellow color it looks so beautiful i will say at the last okay it is a it is an also having a reason why okay next one if game state is equals to is equals to is equals to play. Before saying this one, I will say you one thing. What is if else? In this game, we are using if else statement like a condition. We are using if else condition. If uh, okay, if and else. Yeah. Do you know what is that? 
Okay, leave that. I will teach you. In toolbox, where is the if else? Uh, in toolbox, in which tool it will be there? In group or sprite or drawing or math? I know where it will be in the control box. So it's here, but in variables, no. It will be only in the control box. So we know about for, if, and if else, and everything. Okay, so if else, we'll see, uh, let's see the example for that. Okay, if else statement, the, uh, it is in the category of control. So in examples, they have gave the example. This is the example for them. Like they have just given an example. Okay, then um like um okay we'll see the syntax because syntax is the main thing and we are gonna use this. So what is syntax? Syntax means the condition. Okay, syntax. In syntax, see if condition statement one, else statement two. In if condition, uh, we are writing own condition and statement one. What is statement one? You will be asking. Any, uh, I will be saying one thing. In this two, any one will be working randomly. In this two, any one will be working randomly. Okay. In else also same same thing. Any two will be working. In statement one, we have to write one statement. In statement two, we have to write one statement two. Okay. So this is thing. Okay. So leave this thing. We'll go to next one. So let's start. So if game state is equal to is equal to play. In if uh, I'm using play, in else I'm gonna use end. Okay, so if game state is equal to is equal to play, console.log game state. Console.log means you know what is console.log? Okay, leave that you know, I'll also say for that in very easy method. Okay, just say console.log where it will be semi before this uh, if else we, we find even I showed you semi exactly colored it's variable in variable only console.log is there you see the example for that console.log message the console.log is in a category of variables so examples is like this let's you know your code is running console.log it's alive it's alive look it's we're writing a message in this we are writing a message right we are we have to write a message only okay so guys i just put it at two commas and i wrote game state so look a full okay this is just a message guys this is just a message this is only a message now i'm gonna write hello everyone just see hello everyone is coming so this is very good and i love this so game state if see okay so okay next one k1 dot x is equals to world dot mouse x k1 dot y is equals to mouse dot y what is meaning of that means k1 uh the knife wants to move in mouse the in a uh, x position and even y position see it's moving in x and even the y right so for that we are writing next one spawn fruit spawn monster we are calling a group name for that group there will be a one name right so for that we have wrote spawn fruit spawn monster okay so next one if k1 dot is touching if k1 dot is touching like uh, k1 means knife okay 
if knife is uh, touching the fruit group then the fruit group will be destroyed i will be telling you a sto short story okay we have wrote your code but i'll say you this in short story okay the if uh, knife is touching the fruit group then the fruit group will be destroyed then the score will be adding 1 plus 1 then the sound will be coming so for that we are writing a play sound then uh, suppose if the knife is touching the monster group the game should be end and the game over the background should be become as a true and the uh, play sound or that the sound will be coming just game over like that it will come in so guys i think now you will be understanding that i said you in this story so what is meaning of that means we are writing if statement like if condition this is the condition guys this is the condition and this is the statement okay guys so suppose the knife is touching the fruit group means the fruit group should be destroyed so we should not write only the destroy uh, we have to write even destroy each means destroy each means everything will be destroyed and this code will be adding one see guys now uh, uh, the knife is going to touch one fruit and uh, i think even you can also hear the sound for you see i'm going to touch on apple see you will score and the sound understand so that is it, okay then the sound is also coming okay next one if k1 dot is touching the monster group then the game state should be in end and the game over got visible is equals to true then the play sound the sound should be coming just game over okay so for that uh, we are writing like statement like this okay at what statement we are writing suppose the uh, most if the knife is touching the monster group the uh, it will the game state will be end and everything what we wrote in the game state it will work everything we have to write only in just single line no need to write this one k1 no need to write this all just take this much and no need to copy at all just write game state is equals to end then all what all we wrote in the game state then all it will be working in here okay then game over dot visible is equals to true first we was putting as false right because it's not show but when the game state was there uh, it ended means this game over will be coming as a background and even the sound like game over let's play the game come see i'm going to touch i'll even touch apple see i'm going to touch one monster no i'm not touch have to be safely Oh, okay. Oh, I touch this. Then the game over. It's a game. So very good. I love this. Let's write the coding for more. So guys, we finished now till the sixty-two. Now we are gonna start from sixty-three. Okay. So else, if game state is equals to is equals to is equals to end. Okay. It's the same thing. Game state for end. We are giving. So K one. dot x is equals to 200 k1 dot y is equals to 200 then fruit group a uh, fruit group dot destroy each then the every fruit will be destroying and monster will be destroying and the velocity fruit group dot set velocity each x each monster group dot set velocity x each means we are given as 0 0 why because it should not move right so for that only okay So guys we finished it till some seven wow it's really good guys now what is meaning of draw spaces is very very many many it's very main thing you all uh, some students what will be doing is everything will be writing very clearly very goodly but one 
only one line they will not be writing what is that is draws price suppose see i'm on a erase this i'm erase okay so what it will happen it will show in yellow color background see why because everything has been erased but only the background will be shown right so now you see okay guys next one eighty eight line fill blue text score plus score one twenty five thirty so the uh the the score color is in blue color right and even it is adding it we are giving as text as score right so it will show like that only okay and this x and y positions okay so guys now we are gonna move to one function fun fruit so guys uh i will be teaching this so uh, till 125 okay so this is very very important thing by using this only we are studying now okay so function spawn fruit means we are creating a group and for the group name we are giving a spawn fruit and inside that we are writing a condition called if condition inside that if statement we are writing one condition called world or frame count uh, is uh, 60 is equals to is equals to is equals to zero what is meaning of that means uh, 60 percent uh, faster it should be coming for example i just write as 10 just see how much fast this goes will be coming see there are totally so much so this is called a uh, uh, frame count even if they are seeing properly that uh, it will show like a frame so frame so much so next one will be so guys next one is if world dot frame count i'll say once again for you if world dot frame count is 60 percent uh is equals to is equals to is equals to zero means uh the uh speed or the 60 percent speed the banana or the fruit will be coming guys so just i'll write and show you like 10 guys okay so that much fast it will be coming so just write six and seven so next one guy is variable position is equals to random number one is to five from one to five the random number will be coming okay so what is meaning of a random number why we are giving this a variable position as random number and one to five uh variable name then random number is so is to from one to five there are five uh fruits i think so then a uh, variable f is equal to like variable name is equal to create sprite 200 200 20 20 like x y width and height okay fruit that means it is fruit we are giving us just a small name so next one guys uh, guys is uh, if position is equal to is equal to 1 then f dot x is equal to 400 then f dot velocity x is equal to minus 7 plus 4 by 4 what are, what they say means same thing only for first we wrote for the score right for uh, for that we are writing of one second for a uh, year also so that one they are saying if or else so if position is equal to is equal to is equal to f dot x is equal to zero f dot velocity x is equal to seven plus score by four minus and plus okay so now we have been finished it till one not two so next one is f dot set animation f plus position f dot y is equal to random number 10 and 100 f dot x is equal to random number 52 300 so what is the thing is f dot set animation we are uh, giving the animation for that so f plus position means the random number random okay so f dot y is equal to random number f dot x is Till this only the fruits will be coming like this only it will go like this only it will go like straight only like that only it will show okay means fruit group dot add f yeah. the this uh, fruit group uh, with this group should add f yeah. then only it will take okay so next one is function spawn monster we are creating a group 
as a uh, uh, monster group and then for the group name we are just giving a spawn monster okay let's go now same thing only guys world at frame count is uh, 200 is equal to is equal to 0 uh, variable position is equal to random number 1 uh, by 2 then variable m is equal to create sprite 200 200 20 20 m dot set animation m plus position m dot y random number 10 200 and m dot x also same, same thing only random number 52 300 m dot scale is equal to 0 to uh, 0 0.2 then m dot velocity is equal to 5 what this means uh, frame count means uh, how much speed it should come then uh, what uh, we are creating a variable name and uh, it should come as a random number randomly it should come so i will give one and two so uh, variable yum we are giving a variable name called yum then variable name creates sprite to uh, x y width height positions okay next one is uh, where uh, yum dot set animation name plus position so monster uh, i just gave a easy name as called yum no need to write monster dot set animation no need to write just we'll write short name Okay, so then M dot set animation. We have to add this M uh, to the position M plus random. Okay, next M dot Y is equals to random number. Then same thing only. It will be coming to here to here. It will be coming to here to here. Okay, so X uh, then M dot scale is equals to 0 0.2. The scale, uh, the monster scale size will be 0 0.2. Okay, next one is yeah, m dot velocity y is uh, phi. Uh, it will be coming in y position. Okay, next one monster group dot add m. So what is meaning of that means monster should be adding the m. Then only it will be adding everything. So this will be very useful for you. I think so. So do you want to play this game? then see in my description i will be give this link click on that link and play this so thank you for seeing my video and learning more videos seeing decoding or is memorable max or everything so do you need to get like this more videos then so subscribe to my channel for getting more videos so guys so guys, subscribe to my channel, like and share. So thank you. So guys, keep calm and subscribe to me. Bye.